Hello guys, this is the enzymes lab which we are gonna do with potato as you can see I cut up some potato here and then um, I pour some uh, potato, let's start with the pH first uh, some uh, pH 9 right here if you guys can see it right there uh, the solution is a very base uh, pH of 9 and then this one has uh, pH of 2 uh, right there maybe I should not move them around so much so you can see it pH of 2 so I'm gonna pour some of these into that beaker I hope you guys can see and then the camera cooperates with me and then uh, when I pour those uh, of course I weigh them uh, these are about uh, two uh, right here about two uh, gram I put it in a um, in a dish like this this is about two gram of course they've been sitting around for a while so here is a pH 9 I dump it I should have opened it before and then we have to wait a little bit and then this one pH of 2 very acidic that one was very base and then this one is very acidic again they both have equal amount of um, potato so here is one and then after a while after a few minutes I'll wait and uh, add uh, hydrogen peroxide so right here oh, uh, right here is hydrogen peroxide I will add that to them but right now I'm gonna wait until uh, the base and the acid the base and the acid as you can see um, break down the nature all of the enzymes right that's the term you're familiar with and here let's grab another beaker well I already done it for you guys see uh, this is just hydrogen peroxide you can see all of the foams here's a hydrogen peroxide and uh, potato potato on the bottom right potato on the bottom you can see that and hydrogen peroxide if I can uh, okay well that's it that's on that's the type of bubble uh, you get um, uh, by pouring hydrogen peroxide in there so another experiment I have done I boiled up right here as you can see some potato and of course here is a boiled um, uh, pineapple juice I boiled them and then uh, what I done here I put them I put them in a beaker the boiled one that's a boiled one and you can see it that's a boiled potato and that is the not boiled potato right and then I put hydrogen peroxide in both of them and look of course the boiled one does not have any bubbles and look the one that I did not boil just like the one it is just like this one these two ones I did two of them there's a lot of bubbles so hydrogen peroxide cause bubbling and then uh, when the enzymes are alive okay the other experiment I have done you guys is I hope you can see it right here maybe I should um, okay so they I boiled the uh, uh, bromelain as the name of the enzyme I boiled right here I boiled the pineapple juice right here as you can this is the un, this is not the boiled one so this is the one that is not have not been boiled and I put it in well A and then well B I put water as a control and well C I put the boiled pineapple juice right here the boiled one okay even it's settled at the bottom so that's the boiled pineapple juice I put it I put a little bit in well C right here 
So, and then these gelatin strips, as you have uh, these gelatin strips in the fresh pineapple juice because of bromelain, look, all of those gelatin came off of the strip. In the water, it did not come off. And of course, guess what? In the boiled pineapple juice, it did not, well, it came off a little bit, <laughs> but it, um, I guess I didn't boil it long enough. So anyhow, it should not come off. But this one, as you can see, it has been boiled. It has been boiled uh, for a long time. Uh, it has not been boiled, sorry. The one that has not been boiled, um, it came off a lot of it. Okay, so the other experiment that we have done is with saliva. So uh, saliva has the enzyme amylase and right here um, this is just if you look at this well I added water and the local solution right here oh. right here iodine local solution okay and then look what happened nothing happened there is, you know look like iodine right here this one and that one, if you look, I added uh, starch. I added starch solution, which is this one, right? I added starch solution to that well right here. And then it turned black. So iodine and starch together makes iodine starch make things black like this one okay then this one I put some saliva okay I put saliva and starch and uh, um, saliva starch and iodine nothing happened Then I put some uh, saliva in a cooler like that, okay, on ice, and then I put it in here, in this well, right, that one, the second one. And then of course, guess what, uh, well, I guess it didn't stay there, some of um, the starch is showing up with iodine, but that is with the um, with iced uh, saliva amylase if you would okay so and the last one again uh, I put some uh, that one is just uh, a little bit of um, saliva star uh, starch solution and iodine as you can see some of the enzyme uh, destroyed they were destroyed um, and some are not okay but anyhow let's go ahead in here if I can get the camera oh the camera I want to add um, hydrogen peroxide oh where are you hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide yeah hydrogen peroxide I want to add hydrogen peroxide to uh, the acid and base solutions where should I go I hope Now you can see it better. So this one, this is the base, and this is the, oh, sorry, 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 I should have, both of them got base now, but I have enough potato, I can do this. So both of these are, uh, oh, yes, hydrogen peroxide in both of them, sorry. And there's not much bubble, cause there's some, again, I didn't wait long enough. Uh, uh, for them, you see some bubbles here. Yeah, let me show you. You see some bubbles, not as much. Okay. So, but if there was long enough, uh, it, it would not be there. I didn't wait enough. I'll wait long enough. All right. So you've seen the experiment on enzymes, and. Uh, uh, there are three enzymes we dealt with, the one uh, in potato and then of course uh, with amylase 
and then the bromelain, um, and then uh, with the pineapple, and that's about it. Uh, the third one uh, in the potato, we can look it up.